Hi guys, very good afternoon to you. Uh, welcome to the video number 264 and this is Ajay. I'm going to talk about today uh, what are the actually the XOVB event, right? And uh, in this we are going to discuss about the three main events which you uh, uh, find very useful actually. Uh, one is the selection, one is the change and uh, the another one is the open, right? Now for those who are watching the channel for the first time, uh, we have already got 263 videos for you. So just go to my channel guys and uh, you can click on all these playlists we have different different playlists created here as you can see right on every subject we have uh, a video uh, it covers the basic and the advanced level so we have the excel excel vba and access and access vba so you'll find a lot of lot of interesting stuff there right okay and so now let's come back to the events and i'm going to talk about the events today because so far i haven't really talked much on the events right so guys what are the events actually they are not of course the macros right they are kind of the macros but there is a difference a macro actually runs when you click when you want them to run but the events are they run on the condition they run when the condition you which you provided actually is going to be true so they automatically triggers themselves and of course writing uh, where you actually write them that is also a different uh, altogether you know it's a different actually location where you write them so first of all i'm going to tell you about the uh, let me uh, enter the third event as well which is called the open event okay and uh, so we'll start with the events first of all i i'm going to actually uh, tell you about the uh, the place where actually you write the events let me just give this a formatting all right so uh, now the first thing which i want to tell you is uh, that uh, when you go to the developer tab when you when you hit on this developer tab and uh, you click on this uh, visual basic you get to see so many things right like for example generally you insert the modules you insert the user forms and there are so many things you do uh, but the events are always written either on the sheets or on the this workbook you cannot write them on the modules guys right like for example when you write any macro you insert the module right and you go in the module and you write the macro but in the case of the events that's not the reason is very simple because in the this if you if you click on the this workbook double click on it and you would see here that you have this option called workbook and then from here you these are all the events now they are actually all predefined events guys right uh, whatever event you want to run whatever condition on the condition you know be based on that condition you want to actually run your macro then you can choose that okay so since we are going to talk about the selection part first so let me tell you actually uh, if you go ahead and uh, you see that you have activate add in install add in uninstall after save you know so these are all the events for example whenever a workbook gets activated what do you exactly want to run which macro you want to run whenever you install any add in in your workbook then what exactly you want to do right so these are all those things right so we are going to cover them a lot of events are there and we can cover them uh, step by step but right now let's go ahead and uh, focus on the selection one so let me just scroll it down so uh, let us discuss this this uh, the the first one which is called the sheet change so i'm going to click here sheet change and you see that automatically the private sub workbook sheet change is inserted and we have a space now between the sub and the end sub and uh, there we can write the things now what happens let's say i'm simply going to write here that uh, message box and i'll write here that um, selection change happen let's say this is what i'm exactly going to write here right now of course i mean you don't write such things uh, but to explain you because we are just going to understand the concept uh, you know i'm not really going to write a very big code maybe in the coming videos we will definitely gradually you know move from the basic to the intermediate level as i always do you know because if you if you if you have a look on my the playlist like um, the vba user forms uh, the connecting outlook with the excel and uh, then connecting powerpoint with the excel connecting access with the you know excel you would see there uh, even in the vba loops you know excel loops and uh, collection loops you talk about any subject i have always you know shared i have always started with the uh, the basic part and then from the basic we have moved to the advanced level and these especially i'm actually focusing on the basic part because a lot of you are actually watching my videos and you're really really very interested in also considering uh, the basic part because most of the videos which i have uploaded uh, you know long time back maybe i mean 
uh, as you know we have 260 videos so uh, the pre the first 100 and 150 videos they were all very actually huge hugely you know they are very actually uh, advanced videos so now we have covered almost everything and whatever is left i'm covering so so now let's come back to the topic uh, this is uh, i have put the you know gonna put the break code here let's say i'm going to put the break code here and uh, now what i will do look at this guys i'm going to here write something i'm going to write here kk the moment i write kk you see that this macro is going to fire itself and if i run this you know that what will happen whatever the macro you have written it is going to fire so these things are not waiting for your button selection sheet change when you write this uh, your workbook underscore sheet change change even this is the event i'm talking about this one right it means that whenever in your sheet any changes happens in the value in the cell these events this particular event is going to fire any sheet because why any sheet because you have written in the this workbook this workbook means that the entire workbook so whatever the sheets you have there on every sheet this is going to be applied let me give you the example for example let us insert this sheet now you know that this is a blank cell so if you write here anything obviously blank cell is going to be changed to the number and if i press enter you see that again this event is fired right so i can press f5 and there we go selection change event is happening if i remove this then user won't even be able to see obviously because i have you know put the break code so if i enter here you see that this is going to be so quick selection change happen and if i again go back and delete this you know because the value there was some value and you deleted it so number is changed to zero so obviously you know you, you have a blank cell and same goes for the sheet one in the sheet one also you can write here 88 and you press enter and there we go selection change is going to fire right so this is called the selection event which will not wait for your instructions right Th these events run themselves under under whatever category you choose they're going to whenever that criteria is going to meet they will fire right now let's go ahead and let uh, let us uh, discuss the another event which is called the uh, this uh, basically uh, a sheet uh, activate event uh, I, I would have actually written here activate because change is already we have done so activate I'm going to talk about the activate event okay so now let's go ahead and let's find it out where is the activate one so let me just scroll it up so you can see all these events here and we're going to scroll uh, this is called the deactivate so deactivate means whenever you're going to leave this sheet right so but i'm going to actually find out the activate sheet activate so let me click over here and uh, let's write here the message box sheet activate sheet activated let's say this is what i want to do okay now let me click here you see that the moment i selected the different sheet this macro is going to run and it, it it actually ran right again i come back to the sheet one you know that the sheet is again activated so any sheet when you select is going to be activated this is what exactly we would see here okay now there is a, another event uh, which i actually want to discuss um, i should have written here selection event and then we are going to discuss this open event right so let me just copy and paste the things and you know that uh, whenever i'm trying to change anything this selection change is automatically happening guys right so this is really very powerful okay so now let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, discuss about the selection so selection is what selection basically whenever you select any cell then what would you like to do you know that is also the thing you should be knowing it so there is another event over here um, but you 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 would like to go to that particular sheet right for example if i go to the sheet one let's say i want to write the code in the sheet one now if I, if you write the code in the sheet one that would mean that it is only specific to the sheet one it cannot run on the sheet two okay for example if i click here you see that here you see worksheet not workbook unlike in the this workbook and now let's say now you're seeing that selection change so in the selection change i'm going to write message here message box let's say hi i'm just going to write hi okay now see what will happen i come here you see that the moment you select any cell the moment you select any cell it is this macro is going to run okay but if you're on the sheet 2 
now she uh, activated is run, run we know that because we have written that code in the in the, this workbook but here if you select any cell it's not gonna work why because you have written that in the sheet one so events can be written in the sheets also individually and you can also run them in the this workbook if you want to apply it to the entire workbook go ahead and choose this workbook option but if you want to be very much specific then you can choose that particular sheet right now in this also we have a lot of other events for example i'm going to talk about this change have a look here change now change means what whenever you have a change in the value right so here when i write it uh, write that value is changed let me write this message box now you see that i'm going to write here in the sheet one uh, i write here something 33 i press enter and the value is changed right so you understand guys now what happens so we there are a lot of things happening right because your selection is also uh, changing when you when you write something you see your selection is moving so this prompt is coming from the high because you have written here the macro called worksheet change right uh, sorry worksheet selection change actually selection change means that whenever you select different cell and worksheet change actually means that whenever you are overwriting something or maybe you are on the blank cell but you are writing something so this is something you need to understand these are all the different different events and they are very useful they are very very powerful but at the same time if i if i'm on the sheet 2 and if i try to change something you see this selection change happened now selection change happened but there is no prompt which is coming that values change and why the selection change happened is coming because you have written here in the code in the this workbook that on the on the sheet change you got to sheet change means actually when you're actually writing when you're changing some value right though it looks a little difficult to understand because most of the time when we read this it it occurs like the you know when you're going to sheet change the sheet but it is not that it says workbook underscore sheet change so it it means that in this workbook if there is any change happens in that particular you know uh, sheet then what would you like to do so if i write 22 then that means the blank cell is going to change to a number and if i press enter selection change happened right because this we have written in the this workbook so this is going to work in everywhere even if you go in the sheet one and you're going to let's say write here a value called 20 let me write the value called 22 what happens you know the values change is also running and selection change happen is also happening okay both the things are going on why because you also this workbook what you have written this this particular part this is applicable to the sheet one as well but at the same time in the sheet one you have written this as well value is changed and obviously this is also going to be triggered followed by this because what happens when you change any value obviously you press enter and when you, you know, when you press enter your cursor moves in the downward direction and if your cursor moves in the downward direction that means your selection is changed so this is how the things work actually so these are called the selection change event and this is called the worksheet change event worksheet change event means that when you're actually changing the value of the cell selection change worksheet selection change means that when you when whenever you are actually simply changing the selection for example if i put the break uh, just the comment out here let's say and uh, let me just put the comment here as well we don't want to run any macro right now now look at this i select this cell i select this cell every time this high is coming why because of the simple reason guys that uh, when you click on sheet one you have written here that on every selection change which means cell change you are actually going to run this macro okay so these are the macros and uh, now the very important macro there is one more macro uh, event i would say not the macro i beg your pardon because but this is kind of a macro you know because they run obviously you write the vba program here there's another uh, event which you can write in this workbook which is called the this workbook open and you need to simply go to this workbook and you cannot find that in the sheet one and the sheet two because sheets can't be opened right workbook can get opened so you, you i press o and there we go we have now workbook open so workbook open means that whenever you open this workbook would you like to run any macro so let's say i just want to run this message box good morning now i save this file guys let me save the file and i'm gonna save the file on my desktop i change the extension and uh, so we are actually going to name this file and let me name this file event and i would like to save this in the 
desktop so you go to the desktop and uh, actually I need to change the name here so let's let's just keep it book one only that's fine all right now let me close the file and go back to the desktop let's open the book one that's the file right now see I'm going to open this now when this opens what should happen we should have the greeting because workbook is getting open so you see that good morning is fired up right automatically this event is going to fire because you have opened the workbook as simple as that right so you can run a lot of macros here on the auto mode whenever the person opens this workbook immediately compilation of data happens automatically so i mean a lot of things can be written here right so now what we uh, let me summarize the things um, we have basically covered activate change event and then selection event and then open right uh, now a code can be written in this workbook as well as in the sheet right and when you when you when you write something in the this workbook that is going to be applicable to the entire workbook no matter how many sheets you have right you have seen that and when you write the code the event in the specific sheet then that is applicable that applies to only that sheet so i have covered the worksheet change worksheet change means that when you have a change in the value and worksheet underscore selection change means that when you are simply changing the cell you are clicking on the different different cells right and same we actually did in this as well so here also i have uh, i have told you that if you if your sheet if it gets activated if you want to refresh any pivot you want to create any chart you know whenever that sheet gets activated these events are very much important very very useful actually right so next time if somebody asks you what is the difference between event and the macro you can tell them that the macro actually works whenever we want to run them but the events work when the the condition you have specified there whenever it is going to be true they themselves run right and uh, of course events are always run either on this workbook platform or on the sheets platform they are never run on the modules the reason is simple because in the modules you don't have any sort of that workbook or worksheet option and you cannot really use this declaration like you use in the, this workbook right here you have all these events coming out that's the difference right so i hope you uh, enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know and in the coming time definitely we're going to um, you know upload some videos on these events some really i'm going to pick up these some real uh, you know questions and i'm going to help you in understanding the examples as well with the examples as well so if you haven't subscribed to the channel guys please do that and i will be back with the another exciting stuff very soon thank you so much bye bye